Hey guys, welcome back. And as you get a lesson today, I'm going to show you a warm up exercise. You're gonna have eight uh, different stages for that. So we're gonna start with the number one. And uh, these kind of exercises are based on the like one, two, three, four uh, combinations. Okay, <clears throat> in this video, I'm just gonna show you the combination one, two, three, and four. Uh, but obviously, you feel free to um, just practice also all the other 23 combinations okay anyway let's take it step by step let's see which kind of uh, exercise and which kind of structure we're gonna have we're gonna give to these exercise check the description click the link info about this lesson thank you for watching stage one the exercise will be based on one string we're gonna have one two three and four then we move on one fret and we're gonna have four, three, two, and one. We're going up one fret and we're gonna have one, two, three, and four. Keep going up, four, three, two, and one, okay? We're gonna have these movement um, up to the 12th fret, okay? So we want to make sure that uh, we going up to the 12th fret with the pinky so that means if i start from the beginning now once i reach the 12th fret with the pinky i'm just going to go back okay so Alright, how do we practice these exercises? Now, the first rule, it will be the thumb, okay? Keep the thumb straight behind the neck, okay? Really important, you don't want to end up practicing the exercise with the thumb that way, okay? So keep it straight down the neck. Um, the second thing, hold the fingers down, okay? That means the movement that you don't want to have is this one. So as you can see, I'm losing all the fingers and the position uh, looks really weird. Okay, so hold the fingers down. When I play the first, when I use the first finger and the second, the first finger is still down. When I play with the third, the second and first are still down. When I play with the fourth, first, second and third are still down. Okay, so this is really, really, really important. Obviously, when you... When you um, when you play the reverse, you start with the four, four fingers down and you have four, three, two, one, okay? When you lose them, uh, try to keep the fingers really close to the, to, the, to the string, okay? Don't lose the position, so keep them really close. The third thing is the palm muting. Uh, if you use it like sort of um, overdrive like that or distortion or whatever, just make sure that you use palm muting technique, okay? It's just gonna give you much more control. You can play the exercise with a clean sound if you want, but just make sure that if you use a distortion, you use a palm muting. and always alternate picking. All right, so this is the right hand movement, as we were saying, always palm muting and alternate picking. 